Natalie, welcome to Vintageous. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this really classic pin-up style. Uh, it's a bumper bang, victory roll combo, you'll see it all over the place and here's how to do it. Your victory rolls and bumper bangs are going to be created from the front section of your hair so section your hair from your crown to each ear and then again from around about the arch of each eyebrow. So you will have a left, a right and a centre section. Now secure away the centre for the moment, we're going to do our victory rolls first. Starting on either side at the top, split your hair into maybe one inch sections and back comb using spray or no spray. And just work your way down. The bottom section, the section that's laying against your face, just tease on the inside of this because you want the outside of it to be smooth. Split it up um, and kind of merge all the sections into one with your fingers and then brush upwards, smoothing the outside as you go very lightly. Don't brush out the back, uh, the back combing. Now if you're unsure about victory rolls, please see the top left hand corner where I show you six different ways to roll a victory roll and five of these are applicable to this style so take a look there if you're interested. I find that rolling from the tips of the hair down to the base is the best for this style because it creates forward facing victory rolls. And you can see um, I have mucked up the swirl of that victory roll with my hairpin but it doesn't really matter because the bumper bang is going to be positioned into the front of the swirl. Um, so don't worry if they're a little bit messy, as long as the back's nice and neat you should be okay. So I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. Smooth on the outside and spray for extra smoothness. And then just roll your victory roll from the tips down to get a nice forward facing roll. You can see if you've curled your hair previously, which I have not, this will be much easier to achieve. But if you haven't curled your hair, don't worry, just wrap those ends in and roll down, securing at the base. Now, you don't have to use a filler for the bumper bang, but it certainly, certainly helps with stability and ease of styling. I'm using a bun donut, which has just been cut in half. Um, I'm banding my front section of hair just for, again for ease of rolling and wrapping it around the bun donut, rolling it towards my face and twisting it around nice and tightly when I get to my hairline. Manipulate the filler so that it goes in the direction towards the centre of your victory rolls in a kind of a U shape and pin in place. This is going to give the impression when you fanned your hair out of one continuous roll. So make sure the filler is nice and secure and then fan your hair along the length of the filler. Don't pin yet, just take your time covering your filler with your hair. I find that sometimes bobby pins can make dents in the style so using um, as few as possible is the best idea. Now with your bobby pins I find it easiest to just get a little bit of hair on the tip of the bobby pin and poke it into the style vertically as opposed to trying sliding it along the filler. Um, horizontally that seems to make more of a mess of the style and work with your hands to try and just create that nice one continuous roll and if you can't I always find a fine tooth comb brushed very lightly upwards along the style really helps to merge everything into one. This is really versatile this hairstyle you can wear it with your hair down but today I'm choosing to really showcase that front roll and pull my hair back into just a simple low ponytail with a nice red bow because it matches my lipstick and my cardigan I think it looks very pretty but yeah, you can wear this loads of different ways. Done. Thanks ever so much for watching. So like I think I said, um, you can wear this style so many different ways. The back can be in a ponytail like this, it can be down, it can be rolled up, it can be in a chignon, anything. It's really, really versatile. I think it's great when the hair is away from the face because it shows off the shape of your style at the front, but really and truly you can wear it any which way you like. Um, yeah, if you like the video, please click the thumbs up. If you don't like it, just click away. Don't you dare click that thumbs down. I'd love to hear from you. So if you'd like to get in touch, then give me a comment down below, or you can head over to my Facebook page. If you try this style out, I would love to see a picture of you in the style, because I know you're going to rock it. Um, yeah, so check out down there for all the information about my Facebook page. I'm also on Instagram and I sometimes use Twitter. So yeah, get in contact with me over there. 
that's it thanks ever so much for watching bye here are two more videos that you might like to check out in the bottom center there is a modern pin-up 50s style no teasing beehive so if you don't like to back comb your hair you want to give it a rest then this might be for you and in the top left hand center i am not smothering my hands in nutella that is a lovely um, natural cinnamon baking soda and honey hand mask which is fantastic for hard working hands and um, so you might like to try that too